Okay, so just got back from Costco. It's a little bit more of our usual um, shop than last week, less junk. Um, so we got some cheese. I uh, picked this up for um, my salads for the next two weeks, just the baby romaine mix. I don't love it as much as the other, um, like the regular romaine, but I know that it's better for me, so I got that instead. Um, some cucumbers and bell peppers for salads and snacks. Some hemp hearts. I like using these in um, energy bo uh, balls that I make. And the kids love them, so I throw that in there. Well, they love the energy balls. I don't think they'd eat them. I don't think they eat this on its own. Some um, crumbled bacon. We really like that. Plain Greek yogurt. My gluten-free frozen pizza. Back there, some buns because we are going to, well, I'll throw it in the freezer and Joey will use it for um, for lunches, for sandwiches. But then also over here, um, I, this is a huge, what is it, pork shoulder roast or two of them. It's massive to get for shopping at Costco. But anyways, we are going to attempt to make um, pulled pork sandwiches in the slow cooker. So, or pulled pork and then make them into sandwiches. And so that's what the bun is for. And um, so that's what this is for as well. And then we have some eggs, some plain keeper. Over here, some Havarti cheese slices, bananas, our quinoa noodles that we love, some organic tortilla chips. Back here is our almond milk, um, just some cereal that the kids and I really like. Lily picked this out, um, some frozen strawberries. We've never had them before, um, but she saw them and said that she wanted them, so sure. And they also happen to be organic, so that's nice too. Back there are um, our wild blueberries that we like to get. And Skinny Pop, I remembered it this week. And a giant bag of apples, and I believe that is all. I have to go to Superstore as well, but we just got back from Superstore, picked up a few things, um, some grapes, some um, tomatoes, strawberries. We'll make a fruit salad with this stuff. This I'll use in our um, omelets and salads as well, and on pizza some sweet onions, a, um, a red onion. I like that on my pizza and also in omelets. Um, they didn't have the Udo's uh, gluten-free pizza crust that I usually like to buy. So I decided to pick this up and give it a try. It is cheaper to go this way. So hopefully I like it and then I can just buy this once a month instead of the other one every two weeks. Some granola for the kids, um, yogurt. They've never had it before, it's flax and hemp. Um, we've never, we haven't bought it before, but uh, hopefully they like it. Joey asked for pizza because he didn't pick any up at Costco. The kits that we normally like to buy, I guess they were out or they just didn't stock any up. Um, so I just bought cheap ones. Um, so this six cheese thin, crispy pizza. I think this one was like $3.33 and then um, one of these, I'm not sure which one, maybe this one because it's smaller, was also $3.33 and then this one was just under $5. So he'll for sure like this one I think and then I don't know. It's been a long time since we've bought these ones so I just got him a few just in case he doesn't like one. And so uh, back here, just some uh, brown rice pasta. The kids have been eating it fine, so I think it'll just be easier if I just buy this instead of um, make the gluten-free for me and then the whole wheat for the kids. So, um, and Joey eats them too, so yeah, I don't know, it's working. So I picked up two over here. These were on sale, they were a dollar off, so I did buy two of them because I have been um, eating them but once every three weeks or so, like going through a bag. I've really been loving them with my yogurt, which they didn't have, so I picked up this, um, this vanilla organic yogurt. Should be fine. I'll just do the same thing, mix it with the, um, the, 
the plain kefir. Now this feels a lot thinner, so I think that it will end up being quite liquidy, um, but should still be good, especially with the granola, granola mixed into it. So the creamy tomato soup, I like to make the kids for lunch a couple times during the week. And Lily is going back to school, so um, we'll just have this uh, maybe once or twice a month when Joey is at work. I'll make that for the kids on um, weekends. Over here, finally picked up some more strawberry uh, kefir for the kids. They love this stuff, so we went through it pretty quick last time. Uh, just some little snack stuff that the kids like. I don't know why because it tastes horrible, but it's cheap and not too bad ingredients, so I picked that up. Some potato and egg salad. I could have got a smaller one, but I didn't see one, and I don't know. This is only a couple of bucks. So I picked that up. I uh, haven't tried this before, but when I've been buying my gluten-free bread, I've been buying it at another location, and I just hate having to go out of my way to make another stop. So I'm going to try this one. Hopefully it's okay. You can kind of use it as, looks like hamburger bun as well as bread. It's kind of thin. Should be fine. Um, I don't go through it very often, so that will go into the freezer as well. Here, just some um, kind bars. Um, it's like this size. The kids had one after shopping on the way home. And this was kind of a treat for them because they haven't had the cereal bars in a long time. So I uh, picked that up. Just some dill pickle and um, ketchup mini crisps. We needed the chicken bouillon cubes. I used the last of it when I made that cabbage soup a couple of weeks ago. And just some Animal Parade vitamins for the kids. I think that's everything. Spent $118 here, so we are about $100 under budget, which is pretty good for, uh, for the two weeks.